okay guys this is part two i'm coming back because i'm on my last aloe vera gel plant see how i'm stretching it just keep continue to straighten until all the gel come out whatever is left don't worry about it because you can always use it for something else for your skin i just cut this up put it in the jar Cut about that amount, rub it all over my body at night. Rub it on my face. I use one for my face and one for my body. You can put it in separate containers. You can go back, scrape all the other leaves. Again, you know, make sure you get all the gel out. Don't tell me to break on you, but this sp spoon is better. You can get a better grip of it. And you ain't got to worry about cutting yourself with a knife. You can go over the leaf as many times as you like. Oh yeah, and I also cut the root of it. Let me show you. Let me finish this one, and then I'll do the other one. See the root here, the black part? If you got any black on it, you don't want that. So this is what I do. I just cut it until I can't see it. See how that done turned? I don't want that. And then I just cut the top layer off of it as so cut it off and then I scrape it out okay and there you have it sometimes you might get some of the some of the leaf with your aloe vera gel you can go back in and cut it or you can use a pair of scissors. You can also leave it on, which is which would be very bitter. I mean, if you could take that bitter taste, you know, go right ahead and keep that that on there. See, and it doesn't bother me. So, and here you have it, the aloe vera gel. And let me show you how how I blend it up. Let me get rid of all of this. I'll put all of this here to the side because I'm going to use this for my body. So, so nothing will go to waste. And I always keep you a nice clean towel, which is a bleach towel. I always keep on me, with me in the kitchen. Move my cutting board. Then I take my blender. Plug it in. I'm a country girl, so we have to use extension cords. <laughs> and I take my aloe vera gel, which I already know about is clean. Take my aloe vera gel. And 
try to get every bit of it out. If not, it's going on my body, on my arms. Because I'm going to take my bath and just going to rub it on me. Put the lid on. And use no water in no, anything. Don't use anything but the aloe vera gel itself. Sometimes I take a, a ice tray cube let me show you sometimes I take the ice tray ice tray cube and I put the aloe vera gel in the cube and freeze it and then and I just pop one out when I make my smoothies and I put one in there sometimes I use two so this is another way to store your aloe vera gel for your smoothies. It has a bitter taste. Make sure you use a lot of pineapple and mangoes. It's the best to disguise to disguise aloe vera, you know, bitterness is the um, mangoes. So I just came on to show you to make your aloe vera gel from scratch. See how foamy it is? And see how clear that is? Aloe vera gel. And thanks guys for tuning in and I will see you on my next video. Bye.